song for this. In Arabic? Of course, yeah. So I've been thinking, I think how I get something like this, when I say I hope someday you can let me stand with him and yeah. he take a half break, I let it go in there. So yeah. when, when can you do that? When can you come up? It's you, your time. What time? You, which day you come? You know. Okay. I tell you something. Yeah. It's very sad. Yeah. I lost my my dog oh, after no. 11 years. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and I was stuck with him uh, for the last uh, three and a half months. I can't go out except very, very. So now I have nothing to do. Him. So you can come out now for. Yeah, to, to I, I don't need to go rushing, go finish and go or mm. stay with him because always I am with him in the room because he's very sick. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm free. I say, now if you tell me, mom, I come this time, if yeah. you want to come and join me, I will give you some time with put other big songs. Okay. Like this. You that, tell me your time. I will I tell you my time. To, um, tomorrow, I will tell you my time now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back here. I will finish here today by half 12 okay so you finish half 12, 12 today and i'm gonna come back here by half two half two today i'm gonna come back here again by half two and i'm gonna stay half two to four o'clock okay so um uh, wednesday wednesday i'm gonna come back here by 11 o'clock in the morning 11 o'clock i'm gonna be here on wednesday from 11 o'clock to four o'clock Continuous. Yeah, continue. Okay. On Wednesday, 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Okay, Ele Wednesday, 11 to 4. four. That's good. Okay. And then on Friday, Friday. on Friday, I'm going to be here 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock as well. Yes. Yeah. So Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is our aggressive evangelism. We we'll call it aggressive evangelism. It's Amen. four, four hours. Amen. Yeah. And then we have, like today, like uh, tomorrow, we have two hours which is like from two to four. And then we have also, um, on Thursday, we have evangelism as well for two hours from two to four. So the whole week? The whole week, every day, the whole week, we have evangelism here in the same spot. We, we do come from the streets, we preach from the streets, and then we come here, okay? So if you give me your, your number, then I'm gonna call you and tell you the time that we have okay. evangelism and what's 07 07 okay. Lucy. Okay, I'm gonna... Lucy. amen so it's good that we come and then we we'll preach the good news yeah, yeah that's it okay uh, and then you no. it is sister lucy yeah, yeah. so i hope I mean, this is one of the things I always think about it, but uh, I cannot start or do, think about it in a, in a serious way because of my dog. Yeah. So, Sister Lucy. Things get changed after you. After you, oh no. Okay, so I'm gonna call you Sister Lucy, yeah, and I'm gonna I text to, you for my time. I want to ask you. So yeah. If I, if I prepare few uh, uh, religious songs. For yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, in my mobile, I type it in Arabic. And yeah. Then start. How we can make it louder? Yeah, we're gonna make it louder. We're gonna put it. I'm gonna come from Timur. I'm gonna come with the one that we can play. The music from this one, so people will hear it. So, yeah, from my mobile goes, uh, goes to this one. We use we use them um, this um, um, Bluetooth so uh, and five to so so this don't one. Need and any the, no, it's just Bluetooth. Well, I'm gonna come with the connection. You bring this. I'll bring the connection. Okay. Yeah. So all I need is my, my yeah, mobile, mobile phone and, and then the, 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 the music. Oh, thank yeah. You very much. God What's bless. Your name, my name is Apostle Peter. God bless. God bless you, sister. Okay. God bless you, sister. Listen. I will not take a lot of time. Uh, yeah. With you, maybe it will alert people. Oh, this is uh, yeah. people they understand. Right? Absolutely. So, uh, a lot of Algeria. Yeah. So I'll try to choose nice ones. Nice like, songs. You know, something touching your heart. That will be very wonderful. I don't wonderful. think it will affect you or you. Yeah. 
one. No, that is good. You give me half, 10 minutes, one minute. Half an hour is okay. I'll give you 10 minutes and half an hour. You, you sing the song, we play the song, and then you can speak as well in Arabic. Yeah, you uh -huh. can preach in Arabic. So I will have to prepare because... Uh, prepare. Prepare to preach in Arabic. I, I, I can't this time, first time. Yeah. If take it, I will preach. But, preach, uh, yeah. Because uh, it takes the strength. I never did this before. Don't worry. God will give you strength. God bless you. Thank God you bless you. God, God bless you, Sister Lucy. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So, I mean, anyway, I will prepare myself for Wednesday. Yeah. I will call you. Prepare yourself for Wednesday. Then I will call you. And then I will be here on Wednesday by 11 o'clock. Okay? God bless you, Sister Lucy. Amen. Our God is a faithful God. The Bible says that the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. The word of God says we should pray. We pray for the God of the harvest to bring more laborers. I thank God for the laborers that God is bringing to us to preach the good news and to harvest the last day harvest this is the time this is the day this is the moment that we should go out there and work for god so if you want to harvest for christ come to us Come, we are going to make you fishers of men by the power of our lord jesus christ jesus will make you fishers of men we are going to disciple you and make you fishers of men. Jesus Christ is Lord. I thank God for Sister Lucy. She will come and become fishers of men. Jesus Christ loves every one of us today. And Jesus Christ is looking, always looking for the laborers. Because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Are you going to be one of the laborers? Do you want to be one, sister? Jesus love you. Jesus Christ loves us. And Jesus Christ wants us to understand that it is a harvest time. Every one of us. Jesus Christ wants you to come close to him. If you draw close to God, God will draw close to you. God is always there to draw close to you whenever you draw close to him. Sister, do you understand that? God bless you. God is there to draw close to you when you draw close to God. Because already God has loved you. Already God has marked you. I want you to understand that every one of us here, you are marked by the Lord. And that is why you cannot hide it away from God. You cannot hide who you are from God. Because God knows who you are. So that means that God knows us already and God has already marked us. So we are marked people. We are the people of God. And God knows you and me. I want you to understand. I want every one of us to understand that God knows your address. Jesus Christ knows where you live. Yes? Jesus loves you, mom. Do you understand that? Jesus Christ is the son of God. And he loves us so much. And he knows it, our address. He knows it, where we live. And that's why we cannot hide it away from God. The Word of God says that if we, excel, if we excel to the heavens, that God is there. There is no way, no place we can hide ourselves so that God will not see us. Our God is a good God. I want us to read Psalm 100 today. I want us to read Psalm 100. Because we bring the word of God to the street. And we read directly from the scriptures, from the word of God. And then we preach the good news. Our God is good. I'm reading Psalm 100. I'm going to read from verse 1. The Bible says, Shout for joy to the Lord of all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. The Bible says, shout for joy, for it is God that made you, brother. Every one of us, 
As you are walking past, the Bible says, shout for joy. Because the Lord made you. The Lord created you. He is the one that made us. And we are his sheep. We are the sheep of the Lord. And he is our shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. I shall not want. And he make me to lie down in green pastures. The Lord make you to lie down in green pastures. That's why you are here today. In this green land. God bless the land. God bless the earth. And the God said to the earth. Let the fruit, every fruitful thing. God give us the fruits of the earth. Our God is a good God. God give us everything in abundance. God give us the oil. God give us the gas. God give us the gold. God give us the silver. God give us the coal. God give us everything. He give us everything. He bless the earth. And give us abundance. The abundance of the earth. Our God is a great God. He loves us so much. And he cares for us. So the Bible says, shout for joy. Because he is your maker. Because you are serving a living God. Amen, brother. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. The shout for joy. For he has made you. For he has created you. And worship him with gladness. Do you have gladness in you? Do you have joy? Gladness is called joy, abundance of joy, bowels of joy. It's a worship him with gladness. Our God is a good God. Any day you don't have gladness in you, you, have, you are missing something. Any day you don't have joy in you, you are missing something. And what are you missing? The presence of God. You know, the Bible says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Hello, young one. Jesus loves you. Yes? <laughs> Do you know who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son of God. And then he loves you and he cares for you. God bless you, Mom. <laughs> Jesus is God. Our God is good. It is good for the young ones to know that Jesus Christ loved them and loved every one of us. So the Bible says, in the presence of God, there are fullness of joy. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Sing with joy and with understanding and magnify the Lord. So that's why Sammy says, shout for joy. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are, we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. In the presence of God, there are fullness of joy. Lift up your heart to God. Sing in the spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. In the presence of God, there are fullness of joy. Lift up your heart. In joy, in gladness to God. I tell you, if you have sadness in you today, you are missing something. And what is that that you are missing? You are missing the presence of God. When you have sadness, when you are sad, you are missing the presence of God. And it is very expensive. Don't play that expensive joke. When you are sad, oh, you are losing too much. You better come to the Lord. You better ask God to give you his spirit. You better ask God to give you his joy. Because in his presence, there is fullness of joy. And one of God says again in Psalm 100 from verse 4, he said, enter his gate with thanksgiving and his God with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. The Bible says, for the Lord is good, for our God is good, and his love endures forever. And his faithfulness continues to all generations. From Adam's generation to our generation, the faithfulness of God continues. And from our generation, until Christ come, the faithfulness of God will continue until Jesus Christ come. 
So Jesus Christ is telling you today, look, I'm a faithful God. I love you. I care for you. I am faithful. You can trust me. You can rely on me. You can know that I will answer. I can do all things. I can bless you. I can lift you up. Our God is a lifter. He lifts us up when we are down. When we are downcasted, Jesus lifts us up to give us joy. When we have sadness, when we have sorrow, Jesus Christ lifts us up. When we are sick, Jesus Christ heals us. Jesus Christ is our God. He is the faithful one. He is the one that lifts us up when we are down. Today, if you have, if you have sorrow, if you have sadness, come to Jesus. He will lift you up. He is our lifter. He's going to give you joy. He's going to lift you up. He's going to redeem you. He's going to rescue you. He's a God that rescues. He's a God that redeems. He's a God that we can trust. He's a God that can never fail us from everlasting to everlasting. His name is God. His name is Jesus. His name is Savior. He keeps saving us. Even though we do not know it. Hallelujah. Our God is good. The faithfulness of God endures from everlasting to everlasting. The love of God endures from everlasting to everlasting. From children to children. From children, children to children, 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 children. His faithfulness endures forever. Look at beautiful. Handwork of God. Look at all the children that God has blessed his family. Do you want to take this? God bless you. Thank you very much. God is a good God. This is a wonderful work of God. It is a wonderful work of God that you see children. The, 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 the word of God says, do you know when the bone grows in the womb? Who knows? It is God that knows when the bones of the children grow in the womb. It is God that made the children to grow. So in the same way, God made us to grow. Because he is faithful. The faithfulness of God is from everlasting to everlasting to those that love him. And I want you today to understand that God made his, his son to shine to both the, the sinners and the, and the righteous. And he made his reign to come to both those that love him and to those that do not love him. So I want to assure you that the faithfulness of God is what is keeping you moving today. Without the faithfulness of God, you have no life because God is faithful. That is why you have life today. So the life of God is in you. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ loves you and Jesus Christ died for you. He died to set you free. He died to give you life. He died to give you joy. He died to restore your gladness. He died to give you everything in bowels. Bowels of mercy, bowels of joy. He died to heal you. He is a mighty healer. And if you need healing today, you can come to the Lord. You can come right now. We can pray for you. And then you will receive your healing from God. Not from anybody. Not from us. But from God. We are just messengers of God. 